All right, this next series, all right, I like, we call it curl pop flare, um, pin down series, um, you know, or maybe a waist screen. A lot of different people will call it different things, but this is a great drill, again, um, to work on different screens when the play breaks down. Okay, so, so for this, I'll call it curl pop flare, um, but like I said, different people will call it a different drill, but it's great, works on different footwork, works on different shot making, works on playing basketball, when the play's broken down, now what do we do? All right, go set somebody a screen. You know, go set, you don't have the ball, okay, let me go set somebody a screen. Let's make reads out of it. All right, so I'm gonna show you some real basic reads that you can do and, and have a lot of fun with it as well. Okay, so like I said, the play breaks down. Now what do we do, okay? Now what happens? So you're out, you're out playing, somebody has the ball right at the top, nothing's going. Go set somebody a pin down. Go set an away screen, okay? There's different reads out of this as well that I want, that I think, that I want our team to get really good at. Okay, the first one is curl pop. Okay, so, so here's this. So let's say we got the dishes, the point guard. Let's say, okay, we're playing, nothing's happening. All right, I'm gonna go set somebody a screen. So I'm gonna go set a screen, great angle. So my back is going to where the ball will be coming from. Okay, this guard, you need to wait and even take a step in to set up your cut, okay? So I'm coming off the screen. So let's say your defense is trailing you as a guard. What's, what's, what do we want to get out of this? First and foremost, a layup, right? First and foremost, we want a layup. So we're going to curl, all right? So we're going to curl. So guard is going to come off. I got my imaginary screener. All right, I went to set up my cut, came off. I'm being trailed. I'm being trailed. So I'm going curl right here. OK, curl and curl right here. Get it, score. All right, screener, now what do you do, okay? So if, if, my, if my teammate is curling, I'm not gonna roll, I'm not going right here because that's two people in like two feet of space, right? So we want one to the basket, one to the ball. All right, so one goes to the basket. Now I can feel that my teammate is curling, so I'm just gonna pop right here for a little jumper, all right? Because you gotta think, like I said, a lot of these you gotta think the game. So you gotta think your player when it's five on five is helping that curl because red alert going right to the basket. So if, if, if my teammate doesn't get it, I should be wide open for a nice little jumper right here. All right. So curl and pop right back to the ball. That's our first action. If we have, let's say, as I said, if you have two teammates, we got to make 10 to move on. If you got a group of more then you, your number gets bigger of what you need to make to move on. Okay. So next one. All right, we'll call it uh, pop and roll. Okay, we'll go pop to the basket and roll. So you came off a pin down, guard. They, your defense was, was on your hip, but maybe not fully trailing you. And so, you know, you, you clipped them a little bit. Big didn't help, you come right here for a nice little jumper. Okay, nice little pin down jumper, 15 footer. All right, this one, screener. I do want you to roll on this one because your guard is going here. Now there's good separation. Okay, let's say, you're, let's say you set a screen, guard comes off, maybe your, big, maybe your player steps up to guard them, now you're coming right here. So this one, and then, so this one, let's say we're, we're gonna shoot this jumper and then I want the post up here. Okay, so, but again, one to the basket, or one to the ball, one to the basket for that separation. So both players are getting a shot, okay? I like to do drills too where you're using your imagination of playing the game. So a pin down, Right, let's say they didn't fully trail you, right? They also didn't get through the screen. So they got clipped. Now as a guard, I can shoot it. All right, as a screener, I can feel that. And now I'm gonna go right here because if my player goes to help, now I'm wide open. All right, but for the purpose of the drill, the guard's gonna come off and shoot and I'm gonna get one more from the dish and I'm gonna get a nice, nice post up right here. Okay, so guard, we've come off and we've curled. All right, now we've popped right to the basket. Now we're going to flare. So this is an, a read for when your player goes and, and gets hit by the screen or goes under the screen. So same thing, guard, wait for your pin down. You get to about this point and your player goes under the screen. Now I'm just going to step here, get a simple little flare here. Shoot the jumper. All right, shoot the jumper when you're open. Screener. Once you see that your player is going to flare, boom, right here. Reverse pivot for that. We'll get that post up as well. All right? But again, it's the same concept. 
It's just you're reading your defense. All right, same concept though. Somebody's going to the ball, somebody's going to the basket. All right? So obviously, like timing, spacing, right? Communicating as well in this. Like, there's nothing illegal with saying curl and then your big nose to pop. There's nothing illegal with saying pop, I'm going right to the basket or right to the ball and then your big nose go to the basket. Same thing with flare. All right? There's nothing wrong with, right, communicating these things through because then it's just you're going to organize things keep things organized, right? It's going to look cleaner. Your points per possession, all those things go up when there's that communication because everybody's on the same page. So work on that during these drills as well, okay? And um, it's an action that, I mean, you see every team run. And the great teams who are disciplined and communicate through it, it's really hard to guard. So the more you work on it here, the more efficient offensively you and your team will be. So again, taking a simple basketball action putting it into drill form and working at it. So I like to, we like to call this one curl pop flare, a way screen pin down series. I mean, you could come up with 10 different names of it, but it's a simple screen down for somebody without the ball. And um, you're on the same page as your point card to hit, um, you know, to make that read. So we call it curl pop flare, um, great, great progression, great, uh, great drill with multiple teammates out here trying to get some work in.